This is a robotic manta ray that I built in hopes of getting cool footage of different animals and structures underwater. Originally, I was planning on doing a design like this, which is similar to the more commercially available ones, but then I thought it'd be cool to do a fish design, more specifically a manta ray, uh, just because they look cool, and I thought it'd be kind of a fun thing to build. And here's kind of where I was deciding on what I wanted to do for the internal structure and mechanism of the fin. Here's the 3D model, and for the fins, I wasn't exactly sure which airfoils to use. However, fortunately, I was able to find a research paper that had them listed, and I will link that in the description down below. Now, this small one is just a prototype. Uh, I just wanted to test out the mechanism and see if it works well, and it seems to work pretty well. Now, for the outer covering of the fins, I decided to use silicone rubber, which I will link in the description down below. It doesn't really matter which one you use, but you do want it to be pretty flexible. Now, for those of you that are trying to make this yourself, whenever you're putting the inner plastic part into the mold, you want to be careful as to orient it properly, or else you will end up with a hole in your fin like I have here. Okay, so first test of the manta ray did not go well, which honestly I was kind of expecting. It's more of just a testing to see if this worked. Uh, and after taking it apart, I realized that it was because one of the strings that I have connected between the servo and the end of the fin came undone, mainly because I didn't tie it tight enough. Uh, also, the original design had it in half. So if you wanted to access the electronics, you had to take off the entire half and you couldn't do that when the fins were attached. So I redesigned it so that you can take off the lid and the fins will permanently stay attached. Just makes it a lot easier to access the inside of the manta ray. Um, I also shrank the overall design just to make it slightly smaller. Uh, so let's just check out the new and updated design. Okay, so that swam pretty well, um, however, it was pretty slow, and it's also only on the surface of the water, which the original kind of idea with this project was to get it underwater so it could get underwater footage, or at the very least, just kind of, you know, swim underwater. Uh, so I definitely need to add more weight and increase the speed, which should hopefully be a pretty simple thing to do. Okay, so the weight distribution was a little off. There was too much weight in the front, so I need to move some of this back here. Okay, so tests with the weight didn't go too well. Uh, main, main reason for that is because how I was doing it, as I was just putting a bunch of metal balls in the inside of the body, um, and so it's kind of hard to keep them perfectly stable and center the weight properly. So unfortunately, I'm gonna have to do something that I didn't wanna do from the start, which was waterproof the servos. I didn't really have a specific reason for wanting to avoid that. I just kind of didn't wanna have to go through all that, uh, but I'm going to now. So my goal is to, I'm gonna use resin to cover all the electronics 
and then I'm going to fill it with uh, mineral oil and then I'm going to put an o-ring on the output shaft of the servo that should prevent any water from getting in uh, and also hopefully prevent any mineral oil from seeping out um, so that should go that should work hopefully pretty well uh, let's get started on that and test it out okay, so here's the mineral oil I got and then I also have the o-rings here I decided to go with the huge pack because first off it was super cheap and it was just a good deal um, and then also I probably will do other projects in the future that will require other o-rings so it's kind of nice to have a giant, a giant pack like this so now I just need to take apart the motors and get them waterproofed Okay, so I'm pretty happy with how it turned out. I think it looks awesome, uh, and the movements are pretty natural looking. Now, it does swim pretty well on the surface. It can go straight, and it can make turns decently. However, once it gets underwater, that's kind of where the issue comes in. And I think that's where a lot of the upgrades can be implemented, uh, not only getting it more stable when it's underwater, but also remote controlling it. That would be an awesome upgrade to do, and honestly won't be that hard of an upgrade to make. Uh, that's definitely something that I plan on doing in the future. Uh, but overall, I'm pretty happy with how it turned out. I hope you guys enjoy the video. But other than that, I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace out.